Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo estamos? Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. This is Adriana Ruiz Flores from Guadalajara, Jalisco, México. And today, day number 33 of my 90-day affirmation challenge. And today I'm going to talk about three things. Yes, yesterday I talked about three things of being practical and how to organize your day and how to really, really manifest what you really, really want, not what you really, really think you want, which was a little bit tricky. But today I'm going to talk about three things that you definitely, I recommend, highly recommend to you to practice in a daily basis for you to maintain your vibration okay in the correct tune you know in the correct um tone that you want to and not what the people around you or the situation around you or whatever is going on in your life moves you towards you know what i mean so today in my day Number 33 of my 90 day affirmation challenge. This is the topic that we are going to talk about. Three things, three beautiful things to do every single day to practice and to allow ourselves for allowing ourselves to manifest things. So today, um, no, three things. The first thing I cannot stress too much in doing this meditation. Yes, guys, practice every day. Number one is to meditate. Try to put yourself in that in that tone and that motions. If you if you can do it at the beginning of the day, that's awesome. I mean, maybe you have to set your your, your watch, your your alarm clock, five minutes before, and just take the time for you to acknowledge that this is a new day, that today is a new beginning, that today it's awesome. That I don't know, maybe just. Take the time to stay in bed, not to wake up and rush. Just take the time to hug yourself, you know, feel the blankets touching your your skin and, and, and listening maybe to the birds or maybe if it's too early, like myself waking up five o'clock in the morning. Just be aware of the tiny noises out there, you know, and acknowledge that today is a new day. That's it. You're setting the tone. You can meditate a little bit later, five or ten minutes more, in order to start your day in that vibration. You know, active your vibration, positive thoughts with your heart and with your soul and with your brain and with your self all in connection. So that's tip number one. I cannot stress that more because really 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 whatever you want whatever you need in life will start when you really tune yourself into yourself okay so meditation is tip number one tip number two okay you meditated in the morning you are setting the tone your day started beautifully okay everything is working out fine you are you know getting into your job you're starting whatever you you are doing but something happens something happens you, you you get into a fight or maybe you suffer an accident whatever happens to you don't punish yourself this is tip number two don't punish yourself for feeling a negative emotion a negative emotion actually is a good thing to happen because how do you know that you don't want something how do you know that you want something if you don't know what you want so a negative emotion actually is turning yourself into that awareness of, okay, I don't want this. And the recommendation is get rid of that. I mean, get it off your head. Don't try to solve the problem because law of attraction responds to your active vibration. So if you're trying to fix the problem, which vibration you are activating, the problem and I will get into an example about that in a few minutes but the main advice number two tip number two if you get rid of your happy 
tone. I mean, something happens and you are suddenly in a negative emotion. Just acknowledge that and get your head out of that. Okay? Be aware that you are in a bad moment and that you don't want to be there, but don't fight. Don't try to fix the problem. Don't try to get into, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to solve this because I am right and, and I have to do this and, and yes, this is what I have to do. No, don't do that because you are vibrating in that problem vibration. So law of attraction doesn't, I mean, law of attraction is not, okay, Adriana is feeling a bad emotion, but she wants to be in that place, so let's manifest that thing. No, I mean, the law of attraction is going to respond to my vibration. So what I have to do is get rid of that situation and chill out. That's the only way to not try to fix the problem. Chill out. It's not easy, but it's possible. If you chill out, if you say, you know what, what, what is my pad of least resistant in that moment? What, what can I do to feel a little bit better? That's your pad of least resistant. And not trying to fix the problem. And not trying to uh, do something to get out of that because, uh, no, I mean, just do something. Whatever it takes, just chill out and acknowledge that you can get into another place. And how do you do that? Well... Once you acknowledge that, be real, you realize that I don't want this. So what do I want? Okay, I want to be happy or I want to feel better or I want to whatever. Okay, so you just get your head off the problem. Just let the problem be. Don't try to fix the problem. And that's it. So that was tip number two. Number one, meditation. But if you are feeling some negative emotion during the day, that's tip number two. Chill out. Don't try to solve the problem. Don't try to fix anything because you, your the law of attraction is going to respond to your activation, your vibration. Okay, your active vibration, I meant to say. So don't try to fix the problem because you're going to be vibrating the problem. Okay. And tip number three. Very important, guys. Segment intention. What is that? Segment intention is what do I want in this very moment? Every single day has different segments, you know? A segment intention starts when you are in a meeting and someone else gets into the meeting. Or when the phone rings, uh, that's another segment. Or when you are cooking, that's another segment. Or when you want to go and take a nap, that's another segment. So. Every single moment, every single situation during your day, you can establish a segment intention. And I will recommend to you that the first thing that you have to do is your segment intention would be for your emotion, to your emotion. You know what I mean? So if you are in a bad moment or, or a good moment, your segment intention would be, I want to feel good. I want to be happy. I want to feel better than I do right now. Be general. And then you can start with the, you know, physical things. For example, I want to I, I want to feel good. I want um I want to have a really fluent ride to the school to my kids, you know, I want to not to get into the jam, traffic jam. I want to enjoy. I want to have a safe ride. I want to I don't know, maybe if the phone rings, I'm going to tell you an example. Yesterday, I was really, 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 really overwhelmed. I had a lot of things to do. I was doing, trying to do a lot of things. And momentum got me going, you know. I, I wanted to, I wanted to cook because my son was getting from school. I had to go and pick up him to the bus station. I had to uh, get into a Zoom call and I was worried because I thought that uh, I was fixing a web page, a new web page for this new system that I'm using, the lit lining, power lit system. So I was all overwhelmed. You know, I thought that the, the web page wasn't working and I was like, I have to hurry up because blah, 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 blah. So momentum got me going, you know, and I, and I lost, I lost the, the, the peace in the morning, the meditation and all that. I was feeling a negative emotion. 
a lot of negative emotions actually. So once I start, you know, my kid arrived uh, and, and we started, you know, having a meal and, and, and he said to me, you know, what's going on, mom? I mean, what are, why are you so upset? And I said, I don't know. I am overwhelmed. I have too many things to do. I am upset. You know what? I'm going to take a nap. I am not going to do anything. I am tired. I, I'm going to break momentum. I don't want to talk to you right now. Honey, I love you so much, but I got to go and take a nap. So what I choose in that moment is I will chill out. I don't want to fight the problem, okay? I just want to rest. I just want to give myself permission to stop whatever thing I had to do, nothing is more important than myself. So I went to my bed, I started to, I, I decided to close my eyes and to listen to the outside world, you know, try to focus in my breathing, try to focus in, you know, trying to put my mind in blank. And the only thing that I said was, I just want to feel good. That was my second intention, okay? I want to feel good. I want to know that the web page is actually functioning, but first of all, I want to feel good. And I want to know, I don't know how, that this thing is working, you know? So I started, you know, just to breathe in, breathe out, I put my, I set my alarm for about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes, I said, okay, no more than that, no longer than that, because I have to go and pick up my daughter to the football match, so, as I am kind of far away from school, uh, it's like an hour far away from here, so I said, okay, I'm going to take those 30 minutes, so you see what I was doing, you know, I, I was out of work, I lost my tone, my, my meditation tone that I said in the morning, the peaceful Adriana was not there anymore. I was really upset. But number two, I decided that I was going to chill out, that I was not going to push or to try to solve everything. And, and I just decided to break momentum and, and, and stop it. And, and, and I just decided, my segment intention was, I want to feel good. I want to feel good, I want to feel better than I do right now, and I'm going to go and take a nap. And my second intention was, okay, I want to know if this web page that I just finished is working, and I will wake up better in a few minutes. So I went to the meditation, I went to bed, I just chill out, try to discon disconnect myself, and that's it. Okay, so alarm, sound, I woke up just yes, feeling much better, okay, so I my second intention was, okay, what time is it? Okay, I have to go and pick up my daughter. Good. I don't want to go. I want to I wanna stay. I mean, I really want to know if this thing is working. But I'm not going to push myself, okay? And then the, ring, the phone rings. And I said, what is my second intention? That was my ex-husband. And I said, okay, I want this phone call to be quickly, effective, nice. You know, I don't want to in a discussion or something that like I don't just I just want this communication to be easy and smooth and all that stuff everything happened in a few minutes guys just to I just want to point this out because this was amazing so the phone rings I just pick up the phone hello how are you oh yes I'm fine thank you so much how hey Adriana do you know something uh do you want me to pick up Fernanda and I said yeah Okay, don't worry. I will go and pick her up, and I will, I, I will, I will go and take it to your home later. Thank you. That was a phone call. Nothing else. And I said, "Wow." Okay, one problem solved. You. Then my notifications at my phone sent one notification. Early guys, a message from the power lead system that says, hello Adriana, you have a new contact that signed up on your form of the web page that I did and I thought that it wasn't working. And I quote, really guys, at the end it says, we send you the message, this message, in case you thought that this wasn't working. 
is for you to know that it's working. How amazing is that? Universe sent us a lot of signals, but we don't pay attention. So if we practice this three steps every single day, first meditate, second, do not stress or not punish yourself for feeling bad, chill out, don't try to solve the problem, break momentum, and three, segment intention. Every single day and every moment of your days, you will feel much better. You will set your tone, okay, and you will be receiving amazing things. But the most important thing, you will be feeling good. And once you feel good, your vibration, your active vibration is all you need. And everything will flow. So this was, these were my three tips, three things you should practice every single day. And I am not kidding, guys. That message that I received, in case you wanted to know if this is working, I mean, really, it was like, wow, <laughs> wow. So you know what I did after? I said, this is awesome. I'm not going to work anymore today. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to go and spend more time with my son. I'm going to grab a beer and I'm going to watch some in the TV or I'm going to listen to some music. I don't remember what I did after that, but I chose in that segment intention was I want to continue feeling better and I don't need to do anything else because the universe answered me everything that I did in the moment, in the morning and everything else. And because of my decision of choosing to be happy, choosing to tune myself, choosing to stop momentum, choosing to pay attention to what the universe was telling me, then boom, everything worked out like usually. So today affirmation number 33 of 90 day affirmation challenge. I am that I am. So let's do this together. I am relaxed. I am calm. I am the master of my thoughts. I am connected to all ways. I am happy. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am secure. I am worthy. I am positive. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am beautiful. I am confident. I am courageous. This was Adriana Ruiz Flores. And I am sending you all my love from Mexico, wishing you the best day ever. And be aware of your moments, okay? Be aware of that. And love yourself first and forever more. Train yourself every single moment of your day. I wish you the best of the best of the best. God bless you. Bye-bye.